We thought Enceladus is a barren cue ball until NASA's Cassini spacecraft detected both active geysers and a liquid ocean beneath its frozen surface about 30 to 40 kilometers thick. The tiny Saturnian moon may be the most valuable piece of land and one of the likeliest places to find extraterrestrial life in our solar system. Enceladus is 25 times smaller than Earth and almost completely covered with ice which reflects more than 90% of the sunlight that falls on it. This reflection makes Enceladus one of the brightest objects in the solar system. Jets of water vapor and ice particles laced with a brew of water and simple organic chemicals erupt from its underground ocean through deep icy open cracks called tiger stripes near the moon's south pole. The material shoots out at about 400 meters per second and forms a plume that extends hundreds of miles into space. While some of the material falls back onto Enceladus, the other particles feed Saturn's E-ring, a giant halo beyond the brighter main rings. Data from Cassini reveal an unusual amount of heat coming from the moon's south polar region in the same areas where jets shoot from massive cracks. The Cassini spacecraft also discovered that Enceladus's ocean is salty just like oceans on Earth, contains abundant organic molecules and that there is a hydrothermal activity on the ocean bottom. Scientists now estimate that Enceladus's ocean is 1 billion years old, which is an ideal age in terms of life starting and evolving. <laughs>